Job chapter 37. At this also, my heart trembles and leaps from its place. Hear attentively the thunder of his voice and the rumbling that comes from his mouth. He sends it forth under the whole heaven, his lightning to the ends of the earth. After it, a voice roars, he thunders with his majestic voice, and he does not restrain them when his voice is heard. God thunders marvelously with his voice. He does great things which we cannot comprehend, for he says to the snow, fall on the earth. Likewise, to the gentle rain and the heavy rain of his strength, he seals the hand of every man that all men may know his work. The beasts go into dens and remain in their lairs. From the chamber of the south comes the whirlwind and cold from the scattering winds of the north. By the breath of God, ice is given and the broad waters are frozen. Also with moisture, he saturates the thick clouds. He scatters his bright clouds and they swirl about being turned by his guidance that they may do whatever he commands them on the face of the whole earth. He causes it to come, whether for correction or for his land or for mercy. Listen to this, O Job, stand still and consider the wondrous works of God. Do you know when God dispatches them and causes the light of his cloud to shine? Do you know how the clouds are balanced? Those are wondrous works of him who is perfect in knowledge. Why are your garments hot when he quiets the earth by the south wind? With him, have you spread out the skies? strong as a cast metal mirror, teach us what we should say to him, for we can prepare nothing because of darkness. Should he be told that I wish to speak? If a man were to speak, surely he would be swallowed up. Even now, men cannot look at the light when it is bright in the skies, when the wind has passed and cleared them. He comes from the north as golden splendor with God is awesome majesty. As for the almighty, we cannot find him. He is excellent in power, in judgment and abundant justice. He does not oppress, therefore men fear him. He shows no partiality to any who are wise of heart.